funny because right now I'm going through a mindset change, a transformation as it relates to finances. And one thing I've learned as I start to dive into the stock market and start to dive into real estate is that the majority of wealthy people in the world own stocks and own real estate. Well, this forced me to have a come to Jesus meeting with myself. And one thing I realized is, for the majority of my life, I've had a poverty mindset. So in order for me to change the way I've been thinking, I've had to submerge myself into videos, into audio, into television programs that are teaching me the in and outs of the stock market, teaching me the in and outs of real estate. The problem with you is, you don't even realize for the majority of your life, you've had a self-hate mindset. You don't like you. Well, it's come to my attention. And recently, it's finally come to your attention the way you feel about you. So in order for you to start the process of transformation and make that mindset shift, just like I'm currently doing in the financial department, you have to make some life changes. You have to start submersing yourself in videos, YouTube, self-love. How do I love myself? In the music you're listening to, you can't listen to all that ignorant music and still think you're going to keep loving yourself. That music is telling you not to love yourself. Now, it's okay for you to get a little bit of pleasure on it, but right now, that's all you're listening to. And you're tearing your spirit up. You show me your friends. I'll show you your future. You show me your TV shows. I'll show you your future. You show me your music. I'll show you your future. Transformation and mindset shifts require you to do some things that make you uncomfortable. So yeah, you have to start listening to more things that are feeding your mind. Self-love. If you want to love you, start listening to things that help you love yourself. Start watching things that are pouring powerful information and affirmations into you that become who you are. If your glass of water is dirty, you have to keep pouring and pouring and pouring clear and cleansed water into your cup until you get all of that dirty water out. Self-love does live in you. But for far too long, it's been lying dormant. And it's time for you to activate your volcano of self-love because you deserve it. But just like me, I'm going to generate a lot of income in the stock market long term and a lot of income in the real estate market long term. I need you to generate a lot of self-love income for the long term because your future self deserves it and your future self is dependent on you to do the things starting right now at this very moment to remove that self-hate and start bringing in that self-love. So what's it gonna be? Nope, don't listen to that. Nope, don't watch that. You have the power to make that shift right now. And once you do that, you will find your future self smiling and you will find your present self at the end of the day climbing over the hump and making each and every day of the rest of your life a Wednesday. Pour some self-love into you. This is a great day to win. Let's go.